The Lockheed XF-90 was built in response to a United States Air Force requirement for a long-range penetration fighter and bomber escort. The same requirement produced the McDonnell XF-88 Voodoo. Lockheed received a contract for two prototype XP-90s. The design was developed by Willis Hawkins and the Skunk Works team under Kelly Johnson. Two prototypes were built. Developmental and political difficulties delayed the first flight until June 3, 1949, with Chief Test Pilot Tony Levi at the controls. Performance of the design was considered inadequate due to being underpowered, and the XF-90 never entered production. Design and Development In response to a 1945 Army request for an advanced jet fighter, Lockheed proposed a jet powered initially by a Lockheed L-1000 axial flow turbojet, and then the General Electric J-35. Further design refinements included using two Westinghouse J-34 engines with afterburners. After data showed that a Delta plan form would not be suitable, the Lockheed Model 90 was built as a mock-up in 1947 with swept wings. The final design embodied much of the experience and shared the intake and low wing layout of the previous P-80 Shooting Star, but with 35-degree swept back wings, a sharply pointed nose and two Westinghouse J-34 WE-11 axial flow turbojet engines, providing a total thrust of 6,200 pound forces, mounted side-by-side -side in the rear fuselage and fed by side-mounted air intakes. The wings had leading-edge slats, Fowler flaps and ailerons on the trailing edge. The pressurized cockpit was fitted with an ejector seat and a bubble canopy. Proposed armament was 620M cannons. The internal fuel was supplemented by wingtip mounted tanks, bringing total fuel capacity to 1,665 gallons. The use of 75 street aluminum rather than the then standard 24 street aluminum alloy, along with heavy forgings and machined parts resulted in an extremely well-constructed and sturdy airframe. However, these innovations also resulted in an aircraft which had an empty weight more than 50% heavier than its competitors. The first XF-90 used J-34S without afterburning, but these lacked the thrust for takeoff as rocket-assisted RATO were required for most of the first flights unless it carried a very low fuel load. The second had afterburners installed which had been tested on an F-80 test bed. Even so, the aircraft remained underpowered. Testing and Evaluation The XF-90 was the first USAF jet with an afterburner and the first Lockheed jet to fly supersonic, albeit in a dive. It also incorporated an unusual vertical stabilizer that could be moved for and aft for horizontal stabilizer adjustment. Partly because Lockheed's design proved underpowered, it placed second to McDonnell's XF-88 Voodoo which won the production contract in September 1950, before the penetration fighter project was abandoned altogether. Upon Lockheed losing the production contract, the two prototypes were retired to other testing roles. The first aircraft was shipped to the NACA laboratory in Cleveland, Ohio in 1953 for structural tests. It was no longer flyable and its extremely strong airframe was tested to destruction. The other survived three atomic blasts at Frenchman Flat within the Nevada test site in 1952. Notable appearances in media, the XF-90 lived on as the aircraft flown through the 1950s by the popular Black Hawks squadron in the comic series of the same name, first published by Quality Comics and later by DC Comics. The Black Hawks flew single-engine B and C models, fictional production variants of Lockheed's twin-engine XF-90. Aircraft Disposition, 46-0687, tested to destruction at NACA Lab in Cleveland, Ohio, 46-0688, in storage and awaiting restoration at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio. In 2003, the heavily damaged Hulk was recovered from the Nevada test site and moved there. It is currently undergoing minor restoration in one of the museum's restoration facility hangars. Its wings have been removed, and its nose is mangled from the nuclear blasts. During the decontamination process, all the rivets had to be removed to remove radioactive sand. At present, the museum plans to display the XF-90 in its damaged, 
mostly unrestored condition, to demonstrate the effects of nuclear weaponry. Specifications, general characteristics, crew, 1, length, 56 feet 2 inches, wingspan, 40 feet 0 in, height, 15 feet 9 in, wing area, 345 FTA squared, empty weight, 18,050 pounds, loaded weight, 27,200 pounds, max takeoff weight, 31,060 pounds, power plant, Tua, Westinghouse J34 WE15 turbojets, 4,100 pound forces each, performance, maximum speed, 665 miles per hour, range, 2,300 miles, service ceiling, 39,000 feet, rate of climb. 5,555 feet per minute, wing loading, 79 pounds FTA squared, thrust weight, 0 0.30, armament, 6 a, 20 mm cannons, 8 a, 5 in HVAR rockets, up to 2,000 pounds of bombs. See also, aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era, McDonnell XF-88 Voodoo, North American YF-93, related lists. List of Lockheed aircraft, list of fighter aircraft, list of military aircraft of the United States. References. Equals notes equals. Equals bibliography equals. External links. USAF Museum, XF-90, Operation Tumblr Snapper, Atomic Blast Testing.